so this group of six formers went to the Savoy Hotel for a, a look around the Savoy Hotel and also had the opportunity to have um, interview questions with lots of people within the hospitality industry. Okay, so can you tell me what sort of skills do you think you picked up during that day in the Savoy? Um, we learned how to be interviewed and interacting with people that work there, like butlers, and it was uh, yeah, quite an experience. And how do you think that will help you when you leave school? Well, I think it gives a, an insight on how like, you don't need too many qualifications mm -hmm. to get into certain places such as big as the Savoy. Okay, great. And the employers, like you learn how to answer employers' questions in an interview situation so that you know how to answer them correctly and what they're looking for in an interview as well as why you're there, if that makes sense. Can you remember any interesting facts about the Savoy? Well, uh, we went to one of the most expensive rooms there, which was £15,000 per night, which was a privilege to go in. And one of the uh, shots of rum, which was £12,000, okay. which was pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make you have a better understanding of the hospitality industry? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you sort of understood more about the sorts of jobs you could get there. It's not just about being a waitress or... Yeah, we... we got showed like loads of different careers in there. Okay, here we have Hannah and Jim. Now, Hannah spent her work experience at um, Mega and Jim spent his work experience at Holiday Extras. This was both at the end of year 10. And they're just going to talk a little bit now about how that helped them or will help them in the future with their jobs. So what part of your work experience do you think um, was different to what you were experiencing in school? Uh, we definitely focused more on health and safety and how we have to sign in and out of different workplaces and how it works between other people. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? That you, you know, those are skills because in school it's a very different thing, isn't it? You come and you register, it's all done for you. Okay, and um, can you give me an example of, of, of something you had to do for health and safety? Uh, we have to make sure we're wearing the right equipment, like face guards, gloves, white coats, things yeah. like that. Okay, Jim, so when you were at Holiday Extras, what sort of th skills and things did you learn there um, that you can take on in the future? Uh, I found that they value teamwork and especially customer service. They made sure that um, they put the customer first. I listened to some uh, calls of um, real people um, asking about their holidays. Um, for example, one of them I listened to was about parking and how the, the language they used to help them and to make them feel like the customer was put first all the time. And here we have John who's currently in year 10 but went um, last year to Mega to listen to an inspirational talk from uh, a guy who had climbed Mount Everest. What was interesting about that John? How he like started liking sports but he wasn't the best at school but then the harder he put into his work the better he got at his sports. He had pretty sure he had an injury which stopped him from doing the sports he liked so then he went on walks like uh, marathons and stuff like that and then worked even harder and then he got to places like Everest and achieved a life goal of getting to the top of Everest mm. and then he got back down it took a lot of hard work but he did get like the success at the end these three year nine girls had the opportunity to go out of school and to look at different skills and different types of jobs. Um, we had um, Daisy and Helena went to, um, to the Grand at Folkestone, which is a local um, hotel, to look at how, um, again, opportunities in the hospitality industry. And then Helena and Holly went down to an engineering for girls um, day at Dover Port. So we're just going to talk a little bit about the skills they sort of learnt there and how they, what they help them in school or how they can think that that might help them um, encourage them in life. Okay, so um, Daisy and Helena at the Grand, um, what did you find interesting at the Grand in terms of the skills you learned? Did you manage to speak to any of the staff there? Um, yeah, like at one point we all got to sat, uh, like, sit down and all of the staff, they came up and they talked about their jobs which was very interesting. Okay. And what did they say about their jobs? Did they talk about how to get into those sorts of jobs? Um, yeah, they were talking about catering and health and, like, health and safety in the like, cooking area. Okay. And um, did it make you a, more aware of jobs within the hospitality industry than you were before? Yeah. yeah that's interesting. 
and Holly and Helena, when you went down to the port, I know that you had a session there, we had a session, an engineering session with somebody that had actually um, gone around the world in a catamaran type thing, and you had to do a session there where you had to um, try and create more energy by adjusting your, the sails on a, on a windmill. How, how did you find that? It's just, like, it's just quite fun because we were like, building the sails and then we had to like test like how many, I think that's the bolts, how many bolts were going through and it had to be like, five bolts to be able to charge a mobile phone. So you're trying to get it to the five volts. Yeah. And, what's, and um, what skills do you think you learned from doing that session? Um, well, we learned that like how just small details can really change a lot. Mm. Like just cutting a bit of a corner can really change a lot. Like, like something. Yeah, so. Angles of it as well. Yeah.